Hey, curl friends, I'm Beyond Grenade, and you're watching Beyond Grenade today, and today is part two of my shopping for black-owned brands. Once again, I am risking my life out here on these COVID streets to go support some black brands. Uh, this is my first time shopping in a year. So if you watched my last video, you saw me shop for black-owned brands at Ulta, but now my next stop is Target. So let's go see what I can find. Look at that, got that Jesus parking spot right in the front. You know what really sucks is that I have like 10,000 bags at home and I don't have any in the car. So now I'm about to pay 10 cents for a bag. You guys don't know, this is what we do in California. They charge us for bags. So here's the thing about Target. You tell yourself not to get a car because you don't need one but then you play yourself because now you're holding all 20 items that you did not come in here for. So instead of playing the game, I'm just gonna get the cart so I know I'm gonna fill it up. So first of all, right when you walk in, they have a whole section dedicated for Black History Month. If you go onto their website, it also shows you all the different things, including different clothing items. So they have shirts that have all of these messages on them. Love that. And these were actually made by black designers. Oh, that's cute. Love it. We have Goldie. I like how they have the pictures of the founders right next to their products, but these are dietary supplements. Ooh, pineapple punch. What is this? Oh, snaps. They have the new Shea Moisture line for wigs. I kind of want to get this bonding glue because I use the Got To Be Gel and that is the only product confession that I use it has silicone, but I'm literally using like one dot on my scalp. So I think I'm gonna get the bonding glue. Uh, they have flyaway wrap mousse. <sighs> this one is no longer black owned, but black founded. Tempted. <sighs> I'm gonna try to reach out to them, see if they'll send me some. I do need a new glue for my wigs. I'm not gonna use Gorilla Glue, so we're not gonna do. See, I think what happened was, I think that girl she was thinking of Gorilla Snot. Very different than Gorilla Glue. Oh my God, sorry, proud friend moment. <laughs> Look at Julissa! Oh, she's so cute. Look at Marisol's curls just in stores. Not black owned, obviously. Latina owned, woman owned, but it's my friend, so I gotta shout her out. Miss Jessie is black owned, Mael is black owned, Camille Rose is black owned, TPH is black owned. Um, you know what? I actually haven't tried this. Let me just get this. Everybody loves the kinky curly curling custard. Let's just get it. I did learn that as I am is not black owned. It's like Middle Eastern owned. Emerge is black owned. TGIN, black owned. Curls is black owned. Just Googled it. Aunt Jackie's is not black owned. Main Choice is no longer black owned. And Carol's daughter is also no longer black owned. So you come to Target, you start getting sidetracked, but this is really cute. Now ladies, when it's that time of the month, you gotta have to go with Honey Pot. I will warn you that there's some that are like mint cooling. I wasn't ready for that little sensation, so <laughs> make sure you read that so you know what you're uh, putting down there, but great brand when it's that time. But Honey Pot is paraben free, no dioxides, and black owned. Okay, here we go in the makeup section. So you guys know Black Radiance actually isn't black owned, but the lip bar is black owned, Beauty Bakery is black owned, and so is Minted. So Target has some things that they didn't have at Ulta, like these new matte lipsticks. Ooh, look at these colors. For real though. <laughs> I like that. Mochi Mami, Brown Sugar, Nudist. So I think I'm gonna get Caramel Delight in their foundation. I'm gonna get a brow pencil in dark brown. And I wanna get a matte liquid lip. Hmm, those are kinda dark though. They have glosses, liners, and the liquid eyeshadow. Actually, let me share the love. Let me get a minted nude la la. Some nice nude colors. And then I'll get the matching La La lip pencil. Price-wise, they're pretty similar. $14.99, $12.99, $13.99, and actually Beauty Baker's only $11.99, so maybe I will get 
one of these colors. I'm gonna try for real though, because I just like the name and the color looks cute. This one's cute too on the bite side. Okay, I'm gonna get these two. That's it, that's it, that's it. You know what, I also just get a blush because I've been using the same MAC blush for like a hundred years and I don't use any other blush. <sighs> I'm spending so much, but I'm gonna get it. Now when it comes to being black founded or black owned, I'm not really mad at it because we all gotta start somewhere, then you sell your business and then you make more money. And you don't want like another company to buy a black owned brand and then it flops because we stopped buying it and then it's like, oh now this is why we shouldn't support or purchase black brands. So I'm not mad at it, still support it, use what you like, but it's just good to know who is still black owned and who is bought. Okay, now we've branched out to the food section. Partake is also a black owned brand. They have cookie butter, chocolate chip cookies, and birthday cake. Oh, they're vegan, gluten free, top eight allergen free. I have to do birthday cake. Even though cookie butter also sounds good. Let me calm down, let me calm down. But I'm gonna get this. Wine, black girl magic rose. Oh, she got curly hair and everything. Um, I don't drink wine, but this is black owned and looks really cute. And then over here, I also don't drink coffee, but Black and Bold is also a black owned brand. Put y'all on everything. We got cookies, we got drinks, what you want? So Barbie is not black owned, but I can respect that we've come a long way. We've got an Afro people. Oh, she cute, representation. We even got black mermaids. Okay, okay. We got black Barbie in space. We got a black veterinarian. Y'all, if I get a girl, if my next baby is a girl, is a wrap. She's gonna have this little salon chair. <laughs> okay, now my favorite section in Target, the game section, because I host game nights all the time. Culture tags, black owned brand. I already bought this, it's hilarious. It's about solving acronyms. Like, for example, the card might say YGMM, and this is a family and friends theme. And that stands for, you got McDonald's money. So if I was describing this, I would say something that your mom says to you in the car when you're hungry, you got McDonald's money. <laughs> so this is a hilarious game. I'm gonna actually be playing this on Instagram. So if you're already following me, you might've already played with me on my Instagram live. If you missed it, I mean, I tell you guys to follow me every video. Excuse the alarm. Someone's obviously trying to steal something, but they have a Black History Month like section for all these different books. The story of rap. Oh, this is kind of cute. <laughs> Hold on, I have to get this one for Jalen. Happy hair. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I need both of these. Also a fan favorite black owned. Gotta love the representation. Okay, I've officially been in the store for too long. I've spent way too much money. So let's check out and see my damage. And $18 later, that's a Target record. I spend at least $50 when I go to Target, but $50. <sighs> I need to go home. I have spent too much today. Um, $140 of that was towards black owned brands. What did I get? I think it's getting too dark. So I will show you what I got when I get home. Yeah. Jalen, I bought you some books. What do you think? This one says the story of rap. And this one says happy hair. And these are my makeup. <laughs> the little things you're not supposed to touch. What do you think? Is that a nice shade for mommy? So here's the final outcome of what I got from Target. I got two lip glosses from beauty bakery and the matte liquid lipstick i got some foundation okay wow excuse you sir can i read your book <laughs> this that's for you i got a lip color and pencil from minted i got the lip bar i just got everything but lips from the lip bar a brow pencil and their foundation and i got 
a blush from Beauty Bakery as well. And then I got two books for Jalen. Can we read the books? Let's read this one. The Story of Rap. Wow, look at all the people of color. This one's called Happy Hair. <gasps> Frohawk. Wow, what's in this one? <gasps> Wash and go. That's so cute. <gasps> Look it, this is mommy's hairstyle right now. Look, it's just like mommy. Do you see it? You see the resemblance? Oh, Jill, and I have one called Cool Cuts. I gotta find the boy version. They didn't have that one. Looks like his favorite is definitely the Beauty Bakery blush. And got some cookies. Cookies. What do you think? Partakes birthday cake cookies. And I finally gave in and got the very popular Kinky Curly Original Coiling Custard. So I will experiment with this, let you guys know. But that is everything from Target. Hope you guys enjoyed my little shopping haul. I will be showcasing these products throughout my videos, not just in February, but throughout the year. Let me know your favorites. Let me know what else I should... Can we... He loves the blush. Let me know what else I should try from Target or any other stores. Your favorite black-owned brands. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today. Yeah.